In one of my recent videos, I discussed the possibility of other cartoon Spider-Man appearing in Across the Spider-Verse due to the inclusion of Spider-Man Unlimited, and not too long after that we did get the answer to that question to some extent with the confirmation of Josh Keaton's spectacular Spider-Man being featured in the newest poster. This poster was tweeted by Spider-Verse Twitter account with the caption, it's how you wear the mask that matters, and as you can see it features many spider characters in the background with a battle damage Miles Morales centered. Based on the battle damage design, I theorize that this film will be a bit darker in tone than the original, I don't believe his suit was damaged at all in the first film, but the one thing that has caught the attention of everyone regarding this poster is the inclusion of the spectacular Spider-Man. Now this can only be seen on the international version of the poster which is wider, and if you have doubts about this, film director Chris Miller did confirm that this is in fact the spectacular Spider-Man which is spectacular news. From what we know so far, the film will feature at least four Spider-Men identified with a particular media, Japanese, Insomniac, Unlimited, and now Spectacular. However, the one thing we don't know is if these characters will have speaking roles. It's likely these characters could just be background easter eggs for the fans, but hopefully they're at least given one line of dialogue. You could do something as simple as either Spider-Man speaking during the area with all of the Spider-Men, and if the scene is showing how massive the area is, then a good way to have these characters speak is if they go over each section of the area and you can quickly hear the dialogue. But with the inclusion of another Spider-Man popular with one media, my hope is that we get Christopher Daniel Barnes' Spider-Man to join them, even if it's not a speaking role, and I do believe months ago he posted on Instagram that he wasn't contacted for the film film, but hopefully that's a lie. And if there's any Spider-Man that you really should include in this film, he's one of the more Spider-Man that makes sense for the film, considering that his animated series dealt with the Spider-Verse way before the Spider-Verse. And quickly, although we have discussed some spectacular news, earlier it was announced that Sony is working on a Hypno-Hustler movie, starring Donald Glover, joining El Murto as another useless spin-off film involving a character that nobody's heard of. I believe this character has only appeared in 15 issues, I know nothing about him, I think this idea is stupid, and if Sony wanted to give Glover his own Spider-Man film, then just make a live action Prowler film or show set in the MCU. So let me know what you all think, what type of role do you think Spectacular Spider-Man will be given in the film, and what are your thoughts on the Hypno Hustler announcement? And before I forget again, a huge shout out to my good friend on Twitter Wayne Parker for once again making me an awesome YouTube banner, it's nice to have a new one to start the year and make sure you guys give him a follow. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe. Follow my social medias, hit that like button, and I will see you guys again in my next video.